In my case, uh, there, there's only been a handful of these public records requests, but they've been extremely extensive and unspecific. The most direct and simple thing is uh, wading through piles of old emails, the vast majority of which are profoundly boring and inconsequential, uh, just as uh, if one had recorded every uh, hallway interaction with a colleague uh, or a friend or a visitor uh, and, and piled them all up and said you've got to listen to all of these informal interactions back through two decades uh, and identify uh, if any are of interest to uh, some hidden ear, some outside person. I, I think psychologically it has a somewhat similar effect uh, to living in a police state because you learn to be extremely careful about what you say where in a way that stilts and stunts the free expression that needs to take place in a, an intellectually competitive field like science. And as context for that, it's necessary to remember that uh, there are federal as well as state legal limits on what we're allowed to disclose. For example, student information, uh, personnel information, health information about members of our team, evaluations of colleagues, uh, plus the, the whole panoply of uh, confidential peer review on which much of the scientific literature is based. All of that has to be searched for and the only people that are there to do it are the scientists themselves. Most large universities, for example, will at the most have one public records officer who is not qualified to go through the substantive parts of the emails. It's the scientists that have to do that. And then, of course, that sets it up beautifully for the harassers because then they say, oh, you're letting the foxes into the hen house. So a scientist doing their research needs to be re ready to take risks and to spend time following up those risks. But if you're constantly worrying about uh, public records requests, about strangers going through your casual conversations, then uh, that both takes time, but it also affects your mindset and makes you unduly cautious and unduly reserved.